Hello and welcome back. In this video, we want to take a look at, at uh, NFS. How do you set up NFS on ESXi? There's uh, a couple things that we're gonna need. We're, we're gonna need to know, and these come from a, a PDF handout in Canvas, and I'll show that to you in a minute. What we need to know is we need to know the IP address of our, our, our storage area network that's hosting the NFS share for us. So we need to know that. So that's one piece of information. We need to know the name of that share. It's another piece of information. And then we need to know what version of, of NFS are we, uh, are we compatible with. So let's go take a look at where you find that information. So here's a, a PDF in Canvas, and it's just broken out between odd and even numbered. Uh, so we've got, got odd up here and even down here. Uh, that's just to divide the load between two different storage servers. So the top or the odd servers are going to be working off of this IP address, and then the even number servers are going to be working off of this IP address. So these are are two separate storage servers that we have in Lab A that support NFS for the lab. Then the pieces of information that I need, I'm gonna be doing my demo on ESXi 17. For the NFS, I need to know this value right here. I need to know that it's, uh, that's the share name or mount point. And I need to know what version of NFS and we're gonna support version three. And then I need to know the server. Okay, so that's the piece of information that I need. Let's go look at, at what this looks like on a, a QNAP server. This is the landing page on a, a small business QNAP server, small to medium sized business home office server. It uh, QNAP, Synology, TrueNAS, uh, Thecus, these are our common names in the storage, uh, uh, storage server industry. And each one of them is different. I believe all the ones I listed run, run a version of uh, Linux, but how you set up NFS or how you set up iSCSI or, or their interfaces is, uh, it's totally different between all of those. We have uh, all of those here. No, we don't have Synology. We, we have uh, all the other vendors here in site through the years and, and they're, everyone is incredibly different. But let's take a look, this is QNAP. QNAP, very popular. And let's go take a look at what NFS looks like on QNAP. So you can see here, we've got two pages of shares. This is uh, the one supporting the odd server. So there's my, my share for uh, NFS share for ESXi 17. If I go to look at that, notice, uh, maybe you don't notice, but the share can be, it can be set up to connect by SMB. In other words, for Windows, uh, and that, that is, it's initially when you create a share on QNAP, it's initially set up as a Windows type share. And then we go to this drop down here and we say that we want it to be available via NFS. And we check the box. And one of the things NFS allows us to do, it's this box down here, is it allows us to specify that who is going to connect. And uh, so from the handout, you'll, your ESXi server should only be able to connect to your NFS share. So these are different Linux permissions that are, are set up to allow read-write access for ESXi to this NFS share. Here is the, the breadcrumb trail, right here, the breadcrumb trail of, of where we go in ESXi to make the settings. Let's just go do it. So here I am over on ESXi 17 and I've gone into storage and I've got my, my two data stores and I wanna add now the NFS store. I go then to new data store and I select from the list mount NFS data store. Next. And then I just fill in these boxes. I've got my values in NFS version three and the store is added. What I like to do is I like to go in and create a folder on that store just to be sure I can read and write to it. Right click on it and browse, and then just go to create a directory. And we're good to go. If I needed to remove the uh, NFS share, 
just right there. Now, uh, on any of these shares, you can't remove them if a virtual machine is referencing or has a connection to one of them. If you've created a virtual hard drive and it's uh, uh, under settings for the virtual machine, it's the, you know, there's a the link, the virtual hard drive is created on this NFS store. You first got to go into the virtual machine and delete the association. You don't have to delete the virtual hard drive, but you have to disconnect the virtual machine from this data store. So to remove a, a, a data store, there has to be all of the virtual machines that, that are using it have to be disconnected from that. And then you can remove it. We haven't created any virtual machines right now, so we can just click on delete and it would would uh, would be removed. All right, so that's it. That's uh, it's really straightforward. Yes, very straightforward. But in the bigger picture, I understand there's a server side, there's your, your ESXi side, and then there's a storage area network connection between them. And when possible, Companies will, will try to get that connection to 10, 10 gigabit or faster. And sometimes they'll even omit the switch. They'll just have a direct connection from the, uh, from the, the, the compute side, the, the server side, which we refer to as compute, CPU and RAM, just have a, a direct cable going right down to the storage box and uh, 10 gigabit port to 10 gigabit port, jumbo frames, you know, you, you clean it up to uh, clean it up as far as network overhead to allow the data to transfer as fast as possible. All right, we'll wrap up this video and next we'll 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 take a look at uh, iSCSI.